So we're gonna call this video car q and A. I'm gonna make these videos about questions that you guys ask us in the comments, questions that I get from my team that they go, hey, I think this would make a good video. So if you guys have any questions that you'd like for me to answer, leave a comment and I'm gonna make sure to make one of these videos for you guys in the coming weeks. Derek asked, how do you know when it's time to let go of a client? of a lead he said we all get emails we all get phone calls and sometimes you feel the energy like this person is just listen i don't mind if you ask a hundred questions i've had people who i emailed 27 different times to make sure that we were all on the same page about the wedding day because it might rain because this we need to plan a b c and d i'm cool with that actually i appreciate it because you're putting effort to make sure that we have a smooth day i don't mind that but sometimes you can just kind of feel the energy and for me, there's really only been one that I remember that really, I could just feel that we're gonna be a problem on the front and the back end. It was like, no matter how many discounts we would give them, no matter how much negotiating we would do, no matter how much we would bend around and make sure that it fit their needs, which I'm cool with. Like I, at the end of the day, we just wanna shoot and stay busy. So I'm very negotiable in the sense that you propose this, I propose that, what's the happy medium? Let's go with that. And I felt that no matter what, it was just one thing after another, after another, after another. We did their engagement session. Actually, one of our photographers did their engagement session and they were super happy with them. They loved them. They had a great time. But even after that, even after we had agreed, this is what's gonna be, we did the engagement ses session separately. So that way we can kind of, I was kind of thinking, let's, let's suss this out. Let's see how it goes. So since we did the engagement and wedding package separately, I, there was a chance of being able to pull away if, if it just wasn't a good fit. And I understand how fortunate we are that we can let couples go and not feel like, how are we gonna pay the, the mortgage this month? You know what I mean? I think a big portion of that comes from not being silly with your money. You see me here, like I'm driving a, a 15 year old car. I did this because we had to buy a house and I had to lower my debt to income ratio, blah, 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 all that nonsense. I do plan on getting a better car this year, but I digress. Being smart with your money, not over overspending, making sure that you use the equipment that you need, but don't get carried away. If you have the equipment that you need, work with that for now, give people some amazing work and the work will continue coming. Going back to the story with the difficult couple, not couple, because I was speaking with the groom, she, I actually never spoke with her. It just felt like it was gonna be an ongoing battle and I just felt like on the back end, we were gonna have issues. Like there was something about it. Guys, if you feel something, trust it. That is the universe, the world, whatever, your intuition telling you that something might be off. And here's the thing with that to kind of go back and forth. Don't let your ego get the best of you either. There have been times where I'm emailing somebody and I feel like they might be a pain in the butt, but let's, let's keep this going. I don't feel, I don't feel that energy yet. And then I meet them, right? And we have an incredible freaking time. And this has happened more times than I can count. Where I'm like, is this person gonna be difficult on the day of? Let's keep it going. We'll see, we'll see how it goes. We're gonna keep going. I'm still gonna be Mr. Customer Service, regardless of how much you may be frustrating me. You'll never know as a couple, you'll never know because I'm, I'm always gonna be customer service. Unless you're rude to me, I'm always gonna be nice. It's a long story long because we've been going for so long. We ended up just saying, hey, we're not gonna be able to shoot your wedding, but here's a, a referral for you. We think that you guys are gonna be a great fit. You guys are gonna you have a great time together. Their pricing is very similar to ours. And I referred them to, to somebody that I knew. Just because me and this couple didn't get along, doesn't mean that they're not gonna get along with anybody. Obviously, they have friends, so there are other people that might be a better fit. And I think one aspect that I try to think of always, even when I send out my team, I go, who are they gonna get along with best? And that's how I put my teams together. So, to, to go out and shoot. Because I feel the energy from the couple, I see how they are, I see that they're a little bit more technical, I see that they require a little extra special attention, they require a little extra customer service end. I know the team that I need to put together to make sure that they're happy. But there are some people that you're just never gonna make happy. So listen to your intuition, listen to that feeling that you have. And guys, try to keep in mind, one wedding is not gonna make or break your year. There's always more, there is abundance in this world. I truly believe that. And if you keep grinding and keep plugging away, one couple is gonna be replaced by five others. Actually, as soon as I let that couple go, I do remember that we ended up booking another one that day. So we got an email, hey, we wanna move forward. I still remember that because I'm like, that's how the world works. You let something go and something else will be there. 
I hope this video helped some of you guys. I hope it wasn't just rambling in the car. Let me know what you guys think about this format. This is about the only time that I get free time where I'm not emailing, phone calls, shooting, editing, whatever. So I'll try to make more of these if you guys like them. If not, this was a one and done. And uh, thank you for watching.